Hi everyone, so this is just going to be a tiny little haul video of a few things that I've picked up recently. Um, I did take advantage of the 3 for 2 offer in Boots, and I just picked up a few little bits and bobs, nothing overly exciting, but I thought I'd share it anyway. The first thing I picked up is this top from Dorothy Perkins, which isn't the shop I have ever really gone into before. I always sort of thought of it as a bit of an old lady's shop, but I have been going in there recently just because there's quite a nice one around where I live and um, they had loads of great sale items so I just walked in had a little peek and they've got really good things during sale time it's not somewhere I'd probably shop when they didn't have a sale on because it's a bit uh, and a bit overpriced for the things but um, they have got some really pretty bits and bobs in there if you want to check those out so the first thing is this top like I said from Dorothy Perkins it's this silky material um, it it's kind of like a creamy, creamy beigey colour um, and the stripes look black but they're not, they're actually a very dark navy and it's very loose fitting, sort of hits you just mid thigh, a little bit longer at the back than at the front if you can see and it's got these kind of billowy three quarter sleeves, very very summery, it's got a lovely exposed zip at the back which I love and um, it's just very very light, very summery pretty and I would wear this during the summer months with denim shorts or something just to kind of dress them up a bit but I really really like it and I think it's a really nice buy and um, quite unusual so I love that. Then I bought some nail polishes, now um, I don't need any more nail polishes. I have to stop buying nail polishes because it is ridiculous, but hey ho. I bought these two colours because they were kind of quite pastely pretty colours by Barry M. And the pink one is the one I've got on my nails right now and it's strawberry. And it's just a kind of pretty strawberry pink colour. I am a little bit disappointed because I thought it would be more of a kind of pastel candy pink, but it's more of kind of like a cow poly pink. And then I bought Peach Melba, which I've had before, but I lost. And it's just a lovely kind of orangey peach colour. It looks really pretty when you've got tan. And I also bought this one, which is called Hologram. And um, it's just very, very chunky glitter. And I bought this to kind of paint over the top of any pastel colours. I painted it over Peach Melba and I had it on a few days ago. And it was very pretty, but... Um, the quality of hologram isn't a particularly nice quality polish. The glitter is very, very chunky and it's quite hard to lay on. So I wouldn't buy it again, but um, the concept's pretty. Then I bought myself a new foundation from Boots. And I've been meaning to try this for ages, but the reason I haven't is because I am quite a high-end foundation snob, if you want to put it that way. I do tend to like my foundations to be more higher-end just because I find that you can kind of get a better colour match and I just prefer it that way. But um, I bought the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, which so many people rave about. And it's the perfect glowing complexion and toned skin. And it's got apricot for radiance, melon for hydration, apple for antioxidant and ginger for energy, apparently. I bought it in shade 56, which is um, light light bronze which is a tiny bit dark but I thought summer's coming up and um, I will be needing something kind of a little bit darker and it's a very pretty summery foundation it I had a, I wore it a few days ago and um it's very very kind of um, long lasting and does give a very pretty finish on the skin so I do really really like this and um, I will do a full review on it once I've used it a little bit more then I bought um, one of the Revlon Lip Butters, which I am going to do a video on in a minute, actually. I'm going to film a comparison video of the Revlon Lip Butters and the L'Oreal Rouge Caress. Um, but I bought this one in um, 090 Sweet Tart, which is this kind of pretty bright pink. And this is what I'm wearing on my lips now, actually. I'll add a little bit more for you. if you can see what that looks like on. Um, I do like it, like I said, I'm not going to talk too much about these because I'm going to do a 
a comparison video, but I picked up one of those. And the Rouge Caress I bought was in the shade 06 Aphrodite Scarlet, which looks like this. And this is kind of like a corally pink colour. Really, really nice. And um, I've been enjoying using those, actually. Nice kind of summery lipsticks. And then, last but not least, I picked up this blush by Bourgeois in number 34, Rose Temptation, I think it's called. Um, oh, actually, this isn't a blush, I've just realised. This is an eyeshadow. Oh, well. It's a blush to me. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's a very kind of pretty, glowy pink colour. I'll swatch it right here for you. Not overly pigmented, if you can see right there. It just gives you that pretty sheen. And I've been wearing this um, on top of other colours. So for today, for example, if you can see on my cheeks, I am wearing it on top of the um, Fashionista blush in is it Rose Thrill. Yeah, this one right here in Rose Thrill. So I'm wearing Rose Thrill with um, the Bourgeois blush over the top and it does create a very kind of pretty, um, bright pink blush. So I like those. But yeah, those are the things I have bought recently. Um, I think Boots are still doing the 3 for 2 offer. So if they are, definitely go and check it out and pick yourself something up because it is um, a very nice offer when they've got that going on because you can get to try a few things that you wouldn't normally try and you get to kind of basically have an item for free. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all soon. Bye bye.